Protect and stabilize, a plan for restoration, and economists share their expectations on the upcoming budget. Good morning, everyone. I'm Akushla Pinder, and this is your morning edition. The Minnesota administration will today present its 2020-2021 budget, a fiscal roadmap for the next 12 months. And based on COVID-19's chokehold on revenue streams, widening expenditure, and subsequent impact on both the public and private sectors, the government has braced Bahamians for an understandably unprecedented economic plan. It's one, it says, will stabilize an economy that, though weakened, it's resilient. The Prime Minister, as have the Finance Minister, put it bluntly. There will be no sugarcoating of the realities. The Bahamas, as is the world, is in very difficult and uncharted waters. A daily reminder of that, the number of people left jobless. In fact, there's every expectation that the unemployment rate will exceed 30%, albeit in the short term. By some estimates, the economy is to shrink by between 14 to 20 percent this year, an historic decline that will call for the government making some pretty tough choices. Choices that, according to the prime minister, will demand Bahamians do things differently, both in the near term and in the long term, in order to maintain some measure of economic stability. In March alone, the government allocated over $120 million for what it calls compassionate initiatives. These programs provided support for the public health system, food assistance, and other social services to vulnerable Bahamians. This included grants and subsidized loans for small businesses businesses, direct cash assistance for unemployment and payroll support for large employers. The budget communication takes place this morning at 10.